Hi, this is Daisy Lopez. I'm a third grade teacher at Longfellow Elementary School and I'm excited to talk to you about Unit 3.2 Time. You and your students will likely start this unit in late September. The big idea of this unit is that time is a form of measurement. We can measure time using units such as hours and minutes. Measuring time is useful because it helps us determine duration or how long a certain length of time can be. In this unit, students work with telling time to the minute. They also use a number line to find elapsed time and make real world connections by solving problems that they may encounter in everyday life. It is important that students make connections between math that they have already learned and math they are going to learn. In first and second grade, students learn how to measure time to the hour, half hour, and five minutes. This year, students will work with precision to measure time to the exact minute and use a number line to find the time between events. In fourth and fifth grade, students do not work with time specifically, but will encounter problems that will require them to use what they have learned about time in previous grades. Students start this unit by reviewing time to the five minute as well as a.m. and p.m. The first piece of new learning will be in lesson series one where students learn how to read and write time to the exact minute. The apprentice task will give students the opportunity to solve problems involving time to the minute. Lesson series two focuses on using the number line to find the elapsed time between two events within one hour. The expert task will give students the opportunity to read a chart to solve elapsed time problems. The final lesson series expands on this idea with problems that involved elapsed time beyond one hour. One important connection for students to make is between a number line and the clock. Students can think of the analog clock as a round number line. Using number lines to solve problems involving time will help students understand the concept. When you sit down with your colleagues to preview this unit, I recommend you do the milestone task school time because it is challenging and you may decide to use your own class schedule as an example. In this task, students are asked to create a class schedule of events given only the start time and the length of each activity. You may choose to let students do question one of the milestone task in small groups or with a partner. This part of the task may take one whole class period. By the end of this unit, students will understand the role of measuring time in our daily lives. They will be able to read and write time to the nearest minute and solve problems related to the measurement of time using a number line. As always, if you have feedback, please go to sfusdmath.org and click the curriculum feedback button. Have fun with this unit and thank you for all that you do. We'll see you in October for our unit 3.3 exploring multiplication.